EcoFlow River 2 Max is a fairly new power backup solution from the brand which sits at just under 15,000 Rand. With so many PPS models on the market, it is hard to understand just which model suit which household or office. If you're running out to buy an EcoFlow River 2 Max for the constant load shedding we're under, then this review aims to provide enough information on the unit so you know whether or not it will be enough for your setup. First things first, the EcoFlow River 2 Max isn't a full replacement for your electricity at home or at the office. It is designed to provide enough backup for certain electronics when the dark times arrive. But the unit does have a lot of potential and is pretty versatile at the same time. The River 2 Max is a 500 watt unit, meaning you can only use electronics that combine to under 500 watts of use. The unit does have an X-Boost feature similar to other EcoFlow products, whereas you can unlock this power usage up to 1000 watts in certain situations. These are situations where you need that extra boost. Of course, this will drain the 512 watt per hour battery a lot faster and it's there for only certain situations. When it comes to charging, the EcoFlow River 2 Max supports up to 660 watts of super fast charge. This means it can go from 0 to 100% in just 60 minutes. However, I would recommend staying away from this fast charge to help prolong the battery life. I personally have all my EcoFlow products on 200 watt charge times because firstly, the fans don't make a noise and secondly, the lower charge is just better for the battery health. Speaking of the battery health, the EcoFlow River 2 Max does come with one of the best battery tech on the market. It includes an LFP battery which promises up to 3000 charges before it starts to degrade. It is also one of the smallest units on the market to include this LFP battery in it. So you're getting the best technology on the market here. EcoFlow wasn't lying when they mentioned how fast this unit charges. At 600 watts, which is actually the max speed it can charge, it took around 35 minutes to go from 0 to 80%. So 60 minutes is definitely doable here. On the front of the unit, you'll find all the plugs and sockets you'll ever need. There is one three-prong grounded plug and another two-prong ungrounded socket. EcoFlow has also included three 2.4 amp USB-A ports rated at 12 watts and a USB-C port rated at 100 watts. The USB-C port can also be used to charge the EcoFlow River 2 Max. There's also a 12 volt, 10 amp car charger and two DC5521 ports on the opposite side. Apart from the ports, the EcoFlow River 2 Max includes a display which tells you all the useful information and a series of buttons on the front too. There's a button that powers the car charging section and a button that powers the bottom sockets. Unlike the Delta 2, there's no USB button. These sockets simply turn on when something is plugged in. When it comes to the dimensions, the EcoFlow River 2 Max is incredibly lightweight. It can easily be carried around with one hand and only weighs 6 kilograms. It is only 270 by 260 millimeters large and 196 millimeters high. So in terms of portability, it checks all the boxes. I was impressed by how light this unit actually was. It is easy to carry around and store in small spaces. At the back, there's a kettle core charging port and a solar charging port. Now EcoFlow has sent me a solar panel to test out, but I'm going to cover the solar unit in a separate video where I test both the Delta 2 and the River 2 Max on the panel. Everything you do on the EcoFlow River 2 is done on the device's app. After setting it up for the first time, you barely need to touch the unit unless you're plugging stuff in. All the buttons, charge rates and useful information can be controlled through the app. The only time I ever had to touch the unit was when it automatically went to sleep after no use. But this setting can also be changed in the app too. And setting it up literally takes a few minutes. I unboxed the unit, plugged it in, opened up the app and linked the device to my phone. It then operated on the Wi-Fi at home. Even when I loaned the device to a family member who lives on the cottage on the property, I was able to monitor it for them as long as the unit was on the same Wi-Fi. The EcoFlow River 2 Max might look small, but it's a pretty capable machine for your daily use. I need to stress that while we are in the dark ages in South Africa, there are limitations when it comes to these PPS units. You need to understand that they can't replace a wall plug for everything. Unless you have a robust solar panel set up on your roof with a powerful inverter, you have to be mindful with what power a device needs and how far a PPS can take it. With that being said, the EcoFlow River 2 Max can fit into almost every household as a decent power backup. I ran some tests across TVs, heaters and other appliances to give you some insight into this unit and what it's capable of. I think the EcoFlow River 2 Max shines the best when it comes to powering your TV and entertainment system for a few hours. 
I mean, the best way to get around load shedding is to binge a TV show for two hours. In this case, the EcoFlow River 2 Max can keep your eyes peeled to the TV for over five hours in certain situations. A test with the unit, a 55-inch LED TV, a single internet router and an Android media box connected used less than 100 watts of power. The usage fluctuated between 80 and 100 watts. The River 2 Max would keep this setup going for about five hours. If I had to up the TV size to say 75 inch for example, this usage did increase to 230 watts and reduce the charge time to around 2 hours. This is just enough for one standard load shedding session. Thankfully most TVs come with eco settings and enabling them will go a long way to extend the battery life on your River 2 Max. For example, the 75 inch Bravia TV I have dropped from 230 watts down to 190 watts on low eco mode and then down to 90 watts on high. A little setting like this could extend the life of the River 2 Max from 2 hours to around 5 hours. And that's on a 75 inch TV. On a smaller TV it could go way beyond that. You can easily watch TV on a 55 inch model for about 8 hours when making use of the eco modes built into these TVs. When it comes to gaming, the EcoFlow River 2 Max is capable of powering any modern console or PC without an issue, but you need to consider what other devices you have plugged into the setup. If you use a sound system for example, you might want to unplug that. You also might want to increase the eco mode on your TV to help extend your gaming session. The current gen consoles all pull about 230 watts of power. Combine that with your TV and you're looking at anywhere between 350 watts to 400 watts. A standard gaming session will then last you an hour to two hours. If you just run the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, you'll get two hours of game time on the River 2 Max alone. That's without factoring in a TV, so you might need to invest in a smaller monitor or display as they use much less electricity. Microwaves are a tough one because they all come in different sizes. My unit is a 1000 watt Samsung unit and it immediately shut down the EcoFlow River 2 Max when I started it up. The power spiked to 962 watts and then shut down immediately after. This was with XBoost enabled too. So if you have a smaller microwave, say a 500 watt or an 800 watt unit, you'll definitely be able to use it on the unit. The kettle of course didn't work either. Kettles use a ridiculous amount of power at 2000 watts. You can get lower versions but most are 2000 to 3000 watts these days. It didn't even turn on. I can't express how much money you'll save if you find other ways to boil water. Kettles are truly the devil of energy usage. The fan noise on the EcoFlow River 2 Max isn't bad at all. It is definitely noticeable if you have it right next to you. It does get louder the more you ask from it, so charging it on a higher frequency and using more power draw will increase the fan speed. At the max I only measured 45 decibels during the peak charge. So who is the River 2 Max made for? Well if you followed the information and think this unit might cover what you need, then go for it. I think anyone who simply wants to watch TV during load shedding will find this device handy. You can even get away with some gaming if you're smart about your power saving settings. It also goes without saying that this unit will power your hairdryer, electric blanket, charge your phone and other small tasks during load shedding. I know I personally used it to warm my bed during this cold winter when the lights went out. It was dark but at least my bed was warm. It is the smaller things that make the difference here. But you also need to get your expectations in check here too. This device won't power your entire household. It is simply an add-on for an entertainment room, kitchen or portable PPS when you're going camping. It is for when 500 watts is enough. So that's my experience with the EcoFlow River 2 Max. Huge thanks to EcoFlow for sending this device through. I also have a full review of the EcoFlow portable solar panel coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so when that goes live you'll know about it. Once again, thanks for stopping by and giving this a watch, I really do appreciate it. Until next time, farewell.